Hey guys, Tim here, and today we're going back to the barn. I know it's been absolutely ages. It's been a while, hasn't it? So apologies um, for all of you who have subscribed to the channel expecting a load more videos last year. Um, 2021 was just rubbish. There's so much at the barn that we just haven't looked at. What's up there? Where are we with all the projects? And um, yeah, I guess there's a lot of work to do this year, isn't there? So yeah, so it's February and this is the first video of the year. Um, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, um, it's been a crazy time and I think 2021 wasn't the best year. Looking at it, my dog got ill, I got ill. So it just really wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't a good year. We've got Ultimate Dubs next month. So that's on the, I think it's the 13th. It's the Sunday up at Telford International Centre. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's the first show I got to on the channel. Two years later, I'm going back. Um, so if you're there, come and say hello. I'll be on the Mark II Golf Owners Club stand with the Jetta Coupe. So that being said, I need to get up the barn and take a look at the Jetta Coupe and see exactly what it's going to need for its MOT to get it out of its winter hibernation. And of course, while we're at the barn, we'll take a look at all the other projects that have been somewhat abandoned. Awkward. Yeah, so guys, look, I'm gonna head up the barn. I'll see you there. So sorry to interrupt this video. This year, we're looking to bring you the absolute best content we possibly can. But to enable us to do that, we obviously need a video sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by the subscribe button. That's right, guys. Press that subscribe button to support the channel. Did you know only 10% of people who watch the Mark II Golf channel are actually subscribers? So guys, with that in mind, like this video, subscribe to the channel, back to the barn. Right, so first thing you'll notice, we've got a T5 in the way. Um, yeah, that turned up, that's a thing. So I bought this because it came up really cheap and I thought, you know what, I'll buy it, I'll flip it, I'll make some money, plow it into the project. But the trouble is it's a T5 and they're really cool and kind of the family want a camper. So do we sell it or do we make it into a camper? Um, if we sell it, it's some quick cash to plan to the projects. Turn it into a camper is something that we're going to keep for a good few years and make a lot of memories with. So well, let's get this out of the way. Oh, right, so that's a good start. First car I tried to move out of the way to have a bit of a move around and a tidy up and the T5 doesn't start. So um, it's only been here like a week and the battery's flat already. So. Oh, that could be the sign of things to come. So let's get this fired up and get it out of the way. So this is a 2005 VW Caravel. So it's a T5 van, but with windows and air conditioning and heated leather seats and all that good stuff. I bought it ridiculously cheap. So that means the majority of this stuff is either really ugly or it doesn't work. Um, but look, I bought it for absolute pennies, to be fair. It was so cheap, so I can't complain. It had a blocked, uh, had a blocked gearbox cooler. Um, so we've changed that and do you know what actually the gearbox is a lot smoother now i was worried it was going to be a much more serious issue that was going to cost probably half of what i paid for the van to fix but thankfully it seems to have sorted itself out with a flush and a new cooler so that's the t5 let's see what else is in there now you all know this car is our little winter beater our audi tt it was great over the winter but we've just taken it off the road now got the ML on the road, the jet keeps going back on the road, so there's no point in taxing this, but I'm sure this won't be the last we see of this car. So then here we've got Jeffrey, the press car. So not much has happened. So um, waiting to get it welded. So I'm just waiting for um, Mike to weld it up. Mike, um, it's here. We've got barn find as well for you to weld up. So wherever you are, um, hopefully we'll see you at the barn soon. So if you saw the previous videos, you may know that this is pretty rotten all under here. So we've cut it out, had a look. We need to replace this section here and inside the uh, the wheel well as well. So it shouldn't be too much. The rest of it's pretty sound. Um, it's just this bit on the corner here and it goes right back to underneath the fuel tank. So again, it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully if Mike comes up here, then um, yeah, he can get on with it and we'll have this back together in not too long, but still. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see because we've got to think what we're going to do first press car barn find or my jetta coupe for ultimate dubs and of course we've got barn find which sadly is looking like a barn find so this eight valve gti needs 
um, it needs the floor pan welding and it needs that bulkhead done so we can get the heater matrix back in. Other than that, we've got all the parts to finish this off. It seems to be like that project that's just got away from us. It's been 18 months since we uploaded the last video on this car. So I guess, is it, is it a barn find all over again? And then we've got the Seat Ibiza. So this was our budget 80 pound Ibiza. It's still going strong. It's actually due on MOT. We just need to do that fuel cooler. So we did the ball joint and the split CV boot last week. So we'll do the fuel cooler, reattach that securely, and then this will be ready to go back on the road. So this will probably end up as a track car because it's got all the bits that we want, the brakes, the suspension, the PD150 turbo. So. It's got the freshly refurbished wheels on it. Brand new set of tires. So again, what's not to like? That Ibiza should actually be a lot of fun. Um, I love driving them on the road, but looking forward to getting it on the racetrack. I lent it to a friend of mine. He'd been running it around, actually doing deliveries in it of all things. Um, and now it's back, a couple of little bits and pieces to button up and it's ready for its next MOT. So we'll get that back on the road. I can run it around once the Mercedes sells. Um, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, really excited to actually maybe put that on the track and next up, we've got this. Can you guess what this car is? Other than being really dirty, it is actually quite a rare car, if I do say so myself. It's an Ibiza with a boot. So this is actually a Seat Cordoba 2 litre 16 valve. Now I've had a whole bunch of these cars over the years and sad to say I've broken most of them um, because they come with all the good bits. They come with the 280 mil front brakes. They've got the two liter 16 valve, the cable change gearbox uh, or cable change clutch. So what's not to like? They were an absolute part spin special for a Mark II Golf. So sadly I broke a lot of them to put in Mark IIs. Now, um, obviously I've walked down the side of that Ibiza into a place that you've probably never really seen before. Um, so let me give you a quick little tour of what we've got back here. Now, behind me, we've got Sam's sand rail, beach buggy type things. It's got some big old wheels on the front. So yeah, it's got some BF Goodrich all terrains on the front and on the back. So yeah, this thing should be a lot of fun. It's based on an old Beetle. So it's got a air cooled engine in the back. Obviously there should be a carburetor on the top, I believe. And then we've got the two cars that you'll probably be quite familiar with. We've got my grey Jetta Coupe here and we've got the silver Jetta Coupe here back in the new part of this barn. So we need to get some lights up because it's very dark back here and there's not a huge amount. Yeah, it's not a huge amount that you can see if we're trying to film anything back here. And when it's working back here, isn't that easy either with, uh, with it being so dark. So if we look here, we've got, yeah, that's it, my grey Jetta Coupe. So yes, yeah, so if you've seen many videos on the channel, you'll know that this has been my daily for a long time and probably um, my most up together Mark II that I have. So at the back end of last year, we put these B-Star RA 16 by eight inch wheels on. So we went for the 35 uh, offset at the front and ET25 at the rear. So that way you've got sort of a slightly staggered look to it. Now, even though it's been underneath the car cover since oh, probably November last year, it's still picked up a bit of dust. So we're going to have to give this a bit of a clean. Comes up all the time on the Mark II Owners Club Facebook page. What is the best car cover? Do you know what? I don't know. Um, because whatever I seem to use always picks up some dust underneath. So usually have to take the cover off and give it a clean every couple of months just to make sure that we don't really damage the paintwork underneath. But... 
as you can see, it all looks like it's held up quite nicely. And then that brings me on to the Silver Jetta Coupe. This is the one I went over to Germany to pick up. So as you can see, it's here at the moment. Obviously this car has had the Max Peeding Rods coilovers. It's had the track slag exhaust and it's also got the Max Peeding Rods Universal oil cooler on the front as well. So got some plans for this this year. Um, to us, I'd like to do a manual conversion on it. Maybe I'll film that and uh, yeah, we'll see what's involved. But for this year, I think let's keep it simple. Let's do a manual swap on this and just enjoy it for this year, especially if maybe we're gonna do something with the gray car. And, um, and yeah, I think at least it'd be nice to have one up together Mark II on the road. We've got this behind me. So um, yeah, where did this come from? So this is my friend Dean's car. Um, you may have seen Dean, he was the guy welding the track slag exhaust tip on for me. And he also has a Mark II Golf. So Dean's joined us up at the barn here and has absolutely set to work on stripping down this Mark II to, to, uh, to restore it. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much as bare as you can get. Now, underneath, there's not a huge amount of welding that's gonna be needed. To be honest, there's a couple of little bits that you'd never have noticed if he hadn't taken the, uh, the underseal off the bottom. So yeah, fair play to him. He's doing a full proper stripped down restoration on this. So I'm sure we'll have lots more to see on this over the next coming months. So yeah, so that's it. That's kind of a quick update on the cars in the barn. Obviously the 16 valve track car is currently parked somewhere else. So we've, we've got that put away. That will be coming back to the barn soon. And of course, yeah, there's this, which um, is not a Mark II Golf. It's not even a Volkswagen, but it is old, it is German, and it is rear wheel drive. So it was a bare shell for a couple of hundred quid. It was probably gonna get scrapped other way, otherwise. So I couldn't really say no. I thought, well, I'm sure we can find a space in the barn for it. So guys, I guess that's it. That's where we are right now. So it's been a while since we had the last video up and I get that. We've got a lot to get on with here. So there is gonna be a lot more videos coming out of the barn. We've got Dean helping us out. Um, we've got Sam. Ed is up here, obviously a bunch of swines, usually cooking us lunch, so that's all good too. So guys, with that, I would say, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell notification to make sure you know when we upload the next video and I'll see you on the next one.